Hi everyone, welcome back to A Week in Geekdom. Geo here, and at the end of every month, I like to do a haul video with all the nerdy, geeky, cool stuff I acquired. Whether it's books, figures, movies, TV, uh, video games, etc, etc. So, yeah. Uh, anime, manga, comics, you name it. In this video, we're going to focus on those three items, because... Uh, let me tell you, it was most of the items I had pre-ordered, and I had the idea of just getting a couple items, but something really cool happened, and I'll get to it in a couple minutes, and it just blew me away, and I'm so excited to share all the stuff that I acquired in the month of February. So sprinkled throughout this video, I have to give a massive shout out to one of my Omni Bros. I have to give a shout out to Omar from Near Mint Condition for an awesome care package. Bro, thank you so much. You didn't have to, but I was just uh, overwhelmed with emotion when I got it. I was not expecting it. Thank you so much. And I got some really cool goodies. Then I wanted to give my, my boy uh, Omar a shout out. Uh, sprinkled throughout this uh, haul, I'm going to show you a couple items, including some actual comics. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've gotten floppies, but this is part of the, um, this is Marauders number 5 of X-Men, but this is part of the 40th uh, Dark Phoenix Saga Anniversary variant sets, if I remember correctly. And from uh, Excalibur, this is issue 4. You got the Venom Island uh, variant. And look at that awesome glare. All right, let me do this again. <laughs> Take two. It's okay. We're, we're not technically live. We can edit this. <laughs> so there's the actual variant. Thank you so much. That's really awesome. Let's talk some manga. All right, this is actually pretty funny. I don't, I don't think I'm in any hot water for showing these books. And I know a lot of you are probably going to go like... Oh, great. You got that book. Yeah, I did. Uh, one, the premise is so bonkers and ridiculous, I want to check it out. And I actually want to talk about it because it's hilarious. And I just find the whole situation behind this series so funny. And how much of an uproar over this. And of course, I am talking about uh, interspecies reviewers. Now, before I show the cover, just a heads up, the series is rated M for Mature, I guess, Parental Advisory. It's a sex comedy manga. It's about these uh, characters reviewing brothels in a magical realm where prostitution is legal. And there's a, actually, there's a really decent amount of world building and character interactions about them hooking up with different species. A cyclops, a salamander girl, or a, a friggin' uh, elves and stuff like that. And you get to, I guess, learn, <laughs> learn about these sucky girls. I, you're probably judging me. I know. But uh, I got the volumes for cheap. And um, they came in wrapped in a cardboard, which I thought was funny. And, and I, I, I told myself, like, I'm not a child. I can, I can take it. <laughs> so, yeah, technically, uh, it's okay if I just show you the covers. I cannot show you uh, what's inside this. So, but I will try and do a, a review on it. Uh, this is Interspecies Reviewers, Volume 1. Volume 2 and the recently released Volume 3. So it's actually pretty funny, even though, yes, I know, there's a ton of fan service, and it's a story that's not going to be for anybody, for everybody, I should say. Uh, but it, it's so crazy and ridiculous and silly that, screw it, <laughs> you only live once, I want to check it out, see what all the fuss is about, right? Uh, plus the whole deal with the anime and stuff, it just makes it a more infamous series. A lot of websites like Write Stuff, they're out of stock. So uh, a lot of people went in with the FOMO mentality, like, oh, this is a hot series, a controversial series, if you're following the anime news. So, yeah, I, I went ahead and picked it up. Also, I got uh, To Your Eternity Volume 3, which I totally forgot. Actually, let me turn down the uh, brightness a little bit. 
so the glare isn't too bad. Sorry about that. Uh, to Your Eternity Volume 3, I have the first two, and I completely forgot, you know, there's so much stuff going on, and so many books and games and movies and stuff, I forgot to keep reading, so I found this for cheap online, I think it was Amazon, for like six or seven bucks or something like that, so I picked it up. Uh, I can't wait to jump back into To Your Eternity. Uh, from Viz, we've got My Hero Academia Volume 23. I don't like this cover at all. I like the story. I love My Hero Academia, but I, this is my least favorite of the manga covers so far. I don't know. Uh, I made a video about this next series on this channel. Of course, I did a first impressions sort of thing on Magical Girl Apocalypse, and I do want to continue reading the story from where I left off, so I got Volume 8, Volume 9, you see that? Volume 9. And Volume 10. And next month, you're probably going to see the rest of it. Because I found a sweet deal on most of them. So I, I grabbed everything in one go. <laughs> so yeah. 8. Here's the spines. I guess... Did I show the spine for this one? I'll show you now. Another manga I got from Viz is Ran in the Grey World, Volume 6. I've been wanting to do a video on this series for a long time, but I want to get Volume 7 and then read the whole thing. Do a actual series review instead of a spoiler-free first impressions kind of thing. So yeah, gorgeous looking series. There's the spine, a part of the Viz signature line, so it's oversized. Looking pretty fantastic. So that's it for manga. I actually got more volumes of stuff, but I they're not here for this haul video. You'll see them eventually, don't worry about it. Let's do anime, because they go hand in hand, I guess. Anime-wise, not a whole lot. I did get uh, one of my favorite series. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. This is the uh, box set for the second part, where, you know, you can store the whole series. So I have uh, part one and part two of season one, and it comes with a really cool art book right there. It's like a hundred pages with a ton of with a ton of material inside. Uh, let's see if I can make you get interviews character designs and sketches and all that stuff. Um, promo artwork or illustrations I should say. Sorry. Uh, yeah, really cool stuff. I, I love the series and I love the artwork and character designs and all that stuff. So I'm really excited. I do collect the manga as well as the anime. So yeah, <laughs> double dipping, big time. Plus, look at look at the hollow foil. How how cool is that? I love it. This is sort of embossed, I guess, and it's all shiny. And every corner has some really uh, cool art. There's the cast right there. Oh, really cool. And that comes with a lot of goodies. Uh, you get art cards right there. Art cards. You get a vinyl decal of Rimuru. And this cool little uh, keychain, which I actually want to use. I've been waiting for this haul video so that I can finally put it to good use on uh, my uh, laptop bag so really excited about that another series i got is hunter hunter volume 7 and with this i am officially done and i, I have the full anime now we just uh we're waiting for more of the manga to finish so we can uh, get more episodes right so yeah you can see behind me right there i am getting the manga past where the anime ended and I, eventually I do want to get the manga because Hunter Hunter quickly became one of my favorite things ever, uh, Shonen Jump related. So I'm really excited about this to own the entirety of the anime on Blu-ray. And I am going to do a rewatch pretty soon because, you know, now I can see everything on uh, Blu-ray. The final part for Diamond is Unbreakable of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, set five. Uh, looking pretty freaking fantastic, and even though it's chromium silverish color, when you shine a light to it, you get that purple hue, which looks awesome. And look at that. 
nothing much inside. <clears throat> I do miss the art cards, not gonna lie. You get the Blu-ray and the, uh, what is it called? The Key Animation Collection booklet. Let's do comics, because why the heck not? Comic books, I got a few trades and hardcovers that I want to show, and some goodies that I got uh, from my friend Omar over at Near Mint Condition. Uh, I got Justice League Dark, Volume 2, Lords of Order. Really excited about it. I made a video on Volume 1 if you want to check it out. I love Justice League Dark. That's one of my favorite comic book teams. Also got my hands on these Savage Shores from Vault Comics Volume 1. I've heard nothing but great things about it. The art looks really cool. I do want to check it out. And my favorite DC superhero and one of my favorite fictional characters of all time, Aquaman, I got from the Kelly Sue DeConnick run. This is Volume 2, Amnesty. Looking really cool. Love that back cover. Volume 2. Volume 3 comes out in the summer, I think. And the deluxe edition of The Death of a Prince, a pretty impactful storyline, a really unique storyline compared to other superheroes. Um, I, I, I'm so happy that we're getting oversized uh, Aquaman art uh, so we can put on our shelves. This is awesome. The in-between is called Deadly Waters. It goes in between uh, the previously released Search for Mira, Deadly Waters, and then this Death of a Prince. And hopefully we do get all of the Silver Age stuff uh, in oversized hardcover treatment. That would be pretty nice. So keep buying them, guys. If you buy the books, if you pre-order the books, we'll get more. I also got from Marvel, thanks to... Uh, Near Mint Condition, Aero, 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 that thing, there you go, <laughs> it's very uh, anime manga-esque, so I'm really excited to check this out, just on the art alone, I'm not too up to date with all the uh, uh, Marvel stuff, the current 2020 and 2019 storylines, but I will be uh, reading this as soon as possible, same with Swordmaster, which looks really cool as well. Uh, Omar, thank you so much for hooking me up with Agents of Atlas. That's awesome. I've always wanted to read this. Uh, I, I did read back because uh, this does cross over with, um, what's the name of it? Uh, Dark Rain. So I do remember reading a few issues back, uh, way back when that event was going on. But I, I never read the entirety of it, so I'm really excited about that. Something that I've been really aching for, and it is the Immortal Hulk oversized hardcover volume one it is actually my very first hulk book that i've that i own i've read a lot of hulk stories but i've never owned any of the books so i'm really excited to finally own something from uh such a beloved character so the immortal hulk volume one oversized hardcover that's so awesome that's about it guys that's a pretty heavy haul i was just gonna highlight the couple manga uh, volumes and then it just escalated out of nowhere. I gotta give once again a big shout out to uh, Nearman Condition for the generous uh, care package. Thank you so much. It really does mean a whole lot to me. And uh, yeah, that's that's the haul. Next month should be uh, pretty tame in comparison. I, I'm not getting a whole lot of items, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to review a specific thing, although I do want to try and review everything, but you know, the, the queue list <laughs> keeps growing. Uh, a lot of books just get piled uh, way to the bottom in favor of movies and series and anime and all that stuff. So yeah, eventually I do want to cover everything, but if you want me to review anything uh, that you saw in this whole video, let me know in the comment section down below. If this is your first time tuning into this channel, thank you so much. You're awesome, thank you. Uh, all the wonderful subscribers and all the wonderful comments, it's just, I am honored and deeply touched that so many people enjoy the content that I make and the reviews and all that stuff. It really does mean a whole lot to me. I really appreciate it. Um, it lifts my spirits when I see uh, people enjoying uh, this stuff that I'm making. It's awesome. Thank you uh, uh, once again. I cannot stress that 
out enough. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking, commenting. If you want to see more videos, be sure to hit the bell icon so you know when new videos pop up. Follow me on social media if you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can talk to me there. I'm always on. And uh, what else? That's about it, I think. <laughs> all right, I got to go. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in once again. I love all of you. Blessings to all. Uh, be safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.